The accident on the Zamperla zigzag coaster named Wild Wonder at Gillian's Wonder Pier in Ocean City, New Jersey has been described as inaccurately as this. We have the Wild Wonder ride in Ocean City, New Jersey. Back in 1999, this ride suffered multiple mechanical failures that caused the car to get loose on the track, and during a sharp turn, the car just flew off about 30 feet. In reality, a sequence of maintenance problems combined to cause this tragic accident more than 20 years ago. Wild Wonder was a Zamperla zigzag coaster. It's a very common model of coaster more well known as a wild mouse. This particular coaster was bought new from Zamperla for the 1999 season and it began the season without incident. Problems with the ride only started to arise on August 17th, only 11 days before the accident. On that day, ride maintenance workers decided to replace each car's chain dogs and safety dogs. The chain dog is a piece of steel under each train that engages with the lift chain. The safety dog is essentially the same thing, except it engages with a toothed metal trough next to the chain. This works as a ratcheting system that allows the train to move forward freely, but stops the train if it tries to move backwards. On many coasters, you can hear this in action. Ride maintenance replacing the chain and safety dogs was a perfectly legitimate and safe thing to do. However, they replaced the Zamperla made dogs with subpar ones made locally and under New Jersey state law, this was illegal. The locally made chain and safety dogs were made of low quality, non-hardened steel. Ride maintenance also apparently did a poor job installing them as the spring that pushes the dogs downward was installed with very little tension, and both the dogs were out of true with their respective chain and trough. This accelerated the wear on the low quality dogs. On August 28th, 1999, Wild Wonder was operating as normal. A car loaded with two guests seated in the front row dispatched from the station. The car rounded the 90 degree turn out of the station and headed up the lift hill. The chain dog did not fully engage with the lift hill due to the previously mentioned misalignment between the chain dog and the lift. As the car was about to crest the lift at a height of about 35 feet or 10.5 meters, the chain dog completely lost contact with the chain. Normally, this would not be a huge deal as the safety dog would engage with the anti-rollback system, but due to the previously mentioned issues with the new safety dogs, this did not happen, and the car began to rapidly fall backwards down the lift hill. As the car rounded the 90 degree turn leading to the station, the extremely high lateral force combined with the restraints not being designed to hold riders when they experienced lateral forces in reverse, unfortunately caused the two riders to be ejected from the car. Sadly, both were killed by the subsequent fall and impact. Two riders who were boarding the car in the station were also injured by the impact of the other car colliding with theirs. A later investigation would reveal that the safety dog had worn so badly that instead of having a sharp tooth shape, it was rounded. This combined with the other factors gave the safety dog almost no possibility of being able to engage with the anti-rollback system. Interestingly, another accident occurred on this same ride after it was relocated to Magic Springs in Arkansas. Reportedly, a larger woman was allowed to take up two seats in the ride. This caused her to be ejected from the ride. Luckily, she survived. The ride was later relocated to Family Kingdom Amusement Park in Myrtle Beach, North Carolina, where it still operates today. New Jersey found Wonderland Pier and Zamperla responsible. Wonderland Pier for reasons that should be obvious and Zamperla for failing to provide a replacement schedule for the chain and safety dogs on their twist and turn coasters. As a result of this accident, New Jersey changed many of their laws related to amusement rides including increasing the fine for an amusement ride law violation from $500 to $5,000. Since this accident and the operational accident mentioned earlier, operational meaning the ride operators were at fault, the ride has operated and continues to operate safely. Interestingly, in almost every U.S. state, it is illegal to modify a ride without the manufacturer's approval. This causes many problems. However, the safety benefit it provides is undoubtedly more important. I'd like to take a quick moment to talk about ARID. ARID stands for Amusement Ride Incident Database, and ever since Safer Parks stopped being updated in 2017, the amusement industry has been left without a database to collect injury and accident data from amusement and theme parks. As such, we've begun work on ARID and need your help. If you were injured on a ride, even if it was something small like a cut or a headache, report it completely anonymously to Arid using the link in the description. As always, thanks for watching.